Hi everyone, it's Kimberly from the Fat Quarter Shop and we are so honored to have Jen Kingwell in our studio all the way from Australia. Thanks for inviting me. It's lovely to be here. Thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate it. Thank you. So Jen and I were talking about thread and she was telling me that she uses Aurifil like I do. And so let's tell everybody about how you use your thread. Okay, the orange spools it's 50 weight um, cotton and that's what I use for both machine piecing and hand piecing. It's the only weight you can, the green, if it's green it's 40 weight, that's okay too, it's just a little bit thicker. I prefer a finer thread um, and it, it's a little bit personal choice Perfect. between those two. Um, so orange, 50 weight, green, 40 weight. The red spools, um, that's the Aurifil 12 and this is the thickest thread that Aurifil make and it's what I use for my hand quilting. Um, I think some people will use this too in their machine, especially for bobbin work. They mm -hmm. might um, pop this in their bobbin and it gives a nice um, textural finish. But yeah, I use it for hand quilting. And so, so when you're hand piecing, what type of colours are you using? I stick to neutral colours. So for a quilt like this with a white base, I would use something like a cream or, or a white. I just have four or five neutral colours. So uh, the quilt in the background I'd use something like a, an ecru or a, um, a grey, right. something like that. Um, yeah, just, just those sort of blender colours are really good to have, you know, for everyday use. And when you're hand piecing with this thread, what type of needles do you use? Hand piecing and applique I use uh, straw 11, which is okay. a really fine needle. Some people call them milliners, I'm not sure. Um, okay. But yeah, so I use a really fine, sort of lengthy needle, but that's what I prefer. I've got quite chunky fingers, so I, I like a longer needle. And so you're using the 50 weight for piecing, and then tell me about the red, what you use that for. Uh, this is the hand quilting thread. Yep. Okay, so um, this, and to choose, like, there's so many colours, they have such a fabulous range of colours. So what I'll do is I'll have a little think about whether I want my stitches to um, be the, the feature, whether mm -hmm. I really want to see the, the quilting stitches, or whether I just want the quilting stitches to be technical and in the background. Mm -hmm. So I'll lay my thread out over the colours and, and mm -hmm. see, and that way you can see what blends and, or what pops forward, um, and that's how I make my decision. So I audition audition my threads really. And then you were saying that you use the chenille DMC needles for your stitching. Yeah that's for, for quilting but I, I do I think needles are really personal preference so long as the thread goes through the the eye and it's got a sharp point so whatever you like to use is that's fine but that's my preference that's just the needle of choice for me. And then tell me how you select whether you quilt um, in your background or your main print? Okay, so what you have to think about is what is quilted will recede. So if you, the piece you quilt pops back and it, it makes the other piece stand forward. So this quilt in particular, I wanted my background to fade away and the fabrics to become the feature. So I've just quilted in the background, the white background, and that will leave my other and technically, depending on the wadding you use, or the bat, bat you say batting, yeah, you batting, think, yeah the batting you use, um, this batting needs to be quilted every three to four inches. So you sort of need to think about that when you're deciding as well, because you'll need some technical stitches in there as and, well. And usually it'll, it'll tell you on the batting package. It does, yeah, it does. So when you're hand quilting, are you using the 12 weight on the top and the bottom? Oh, that's right. It goes through. That's right, it goes through. Yeah, you do it both that's sides right. at once. It's, yep. That's why it's so I was, simple, Kimberly, yeah. you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking machine, I always think machine, machine so yeah. that was a silly no, it's question. The, it's the one thread, yeah. I think that's what makes hand quilting sort of soft too, because it's just one thread travelling mm -hmm. through your quilt, where machine quilting you've got the two threads that lock. Mm -hmm. So sometimes pe people comment about how soft hand quilted quilts are, and I think mm -hmm. that's the reason. Well, thank you so much for, for sharing with us about Aurifil Thread because a lot of this, you know, I didn't know and I haven't tried hand quilting, so I might have to try it out. Have a little practice later. Yeah. <laughs>